we're going to work on the ears now. And um, the ears are actually done in two identical pieces placed over each other and then single crocheted together. So here's one of the pieces first. I'm going to make an inner ear. To start, you're going to chain 13. So that would be, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, you're going to insert a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four chains down right here. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a double crochet there. like so. Then you're going to double crochet across um, in the next eight stitches. So as you can see, I'm just going to insert my stitches into one of the loops in the chains that I've made. Alright, so now um, with those eight stitches, let me just double check. Here's the first one that we made, and then that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. You're going to come to that very last chain, um, or actually the very first chain you made, and you're going to insert six double crochets in that first chain. So let me go ahead and show that to you here. When I insert into that first chain and do six double crochets, it's actually going to bring me around to the next side. So you're going to insert them all into the last chain stitch. So it creates this semicircle here. That's, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets there. So as you can see, after you um, do that semicircle, you're gonna come to the other side of these unworked loops. While you're there, you're going to insert a double crochet in each of these unworked loops. And that's going to be nine stitches across. So that was one, here's two. After nine stitches across, your work should look like this um, little um, flat oval shape here. Sorry, it's like an oval with a flattened end. And that's going to be it for the inner ear portion, which you do in the pink color. You're going to repeat these directions exactly for the white outer ear portion, but instead of fastening off like you do with the inner ear, we're going to single crochet around the edges. 
So we'll meet back after the white part is done. Remember to just repeat the instructions. Do not fast enough. And we'll meet back to stitch them together. So here we are after having completed the um, inner, excuse me, the inner ear piece and the outer ear piece. And um, instead of fastening off, keep your yarn um, on your project. Place the inner ear piece over the outer ear like so. And then what you're going to do is start with a chain one and you're going to insert a single crochet um, around through both pieces. So as you can see, I'm going through the first stitch of both pieces here and I'm going to pull through with a single crochet and move on to the next stitch. When I do so, I go through both sides so that I'm essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, crocheting the outer and inner pieces together. Like so. <clears throat> So you're going to go all the way around the entire um, crocheted stitches of the ear, the perimeter of the ear, but skip the bottom part. We're going to leave the bottom open. Now we're not stuffing the ear, but um, I mean, if you want really thick poofy ears, um, you're free to stuff them of course, but um, I generally don't stuff my bunny ears. I am however going to fold the bottom edge so that it has a nice crease in it while I'm sewing it onto the head. So at the very end here, I'm going to stop. As you see, I've single crocheted around the entire ear. And so that way the outer and the inner ear pieces stay together. All you have to do now is snip your yarn end, leaving some length so that you can um, sew it to the bunny's head. When you do so, you are going to actually um, crease the bottom a bit, pinch it like so, and you're going to stitch it together over the bunny's head. So for example, like so. All right, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.